Hello Austin, it's me Frankie G here with this Chevy Lottie, Little Miss Dynamite. Hello, hello, I'm Frankie G. <laughs> First of all, welcome to my hometown. We're in San Antonio. So yes, we're here. Welcome to our hometown. Well, thank you very much. It's nice and beautiful here today. It's thank you. Down. This is uh, my own personal mall here. No, I'm just kidding. I wish. No. The Mexican mall. Huh? The Market Square. Yeah, Market Square. So, Miss Chetty, you're going to be helping us with uh, gun. Yeah, we're, I'm really excited about it. I mean, it's always... Um, Exciting to see new and upcoming talent and people that really want to, you know, be singers and and uh, all of that good stuff. Just to see part of it, I'm really excited. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of, of new people and and hearing people and, and uh, meeting new people. So this is something I'm really excited about. Good, it's you know it's something you finally the Hounds come around to. Let's have some kind of competition, right? Some kind of idol for it to have. Exactly, exactly. And I think it's long overdue. So congratulations to you guys for getting this thing started. And uh, I mean, this is something that should have happened a long time ago because there are a lot of, you know, people. I'm not saying just the young generation. I'm talking about people in general that that love singing Tejano music and, yes. and maybe have never had the opportunity. So now is your opportunity to go out there and be part of it. So that's right. Whether you're 50 or 10, like she was yeah. when she started, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or whether you're 6'3 or or 4'10, like me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. What? made you want to do the hell music what did you feel what's on did you hear oh my gosh um i started performing uh the hell music right outside those doors right there you know here mm -hmm. at downtown market square um was one of the first places that i performed at, at age 10. um i really wasn't uh into tejano per se prior to to my joining the very first tejano band that i was with which was called hot tamales band <laughs> and they're from san antonio um, I would grow. I mean, I grew up around the house just singing everything from Linda Ronstadt to Libby Newton-John to Pat Benatar. But uh, when my sister got married in, in like '81, '82, um, she hired at the Hot the Hot Tamales band. And the reason she hired them is because uh, David Mares was the vocalist right, at the right. time, and my brother-in-law was a big fan of David Mares. <laughs> so um, she asked the band if I could, you know, sing a song with them. Well. Right before my sister's wedding, David Modest quits and goes on his own, and um, so they said, "Sure, let, let's have this little girl sing, sing with us." And I, um, I did a Olivia Newton John song. But the moment that they heard me sing, they, uh, I, I could tell on their face that they just really enjoyed it. They, um, they went and asked my parents if I could join the band, and since they were at the Hano band, they got me loving the Hano, and you know, the off, rest the road, is, you know off the road. <laughs> Yeah. And she hasn't been back since. No. <laughs> I've been gone this long on the road, so I'm not well, going. Pretty close to 30 years she's been on the road. That's yeah, it's, it's been a professional career for 28 years now, and uh, I love it. I mean, uh, the Hano music has, has been so good to me. The fans have been good to me. I mean, I'm, I'm forever grateful to, to all the fans that have, you know, still call and request my music and, uh, you know, still go to the shows and support everything that I do. I mean, it's, I can't complain. I'm, I'm living, I'm living my dream every day. You know, you're, you are considered a legend. Yeah. You've been performing that's, that's funny. so long, <laughs> so long, but you still have the energy and the output as when you started. Yeah, I try to. I mean, most people probably, there are some people who may, may take offense to, to that word because it, it, it seems like past tense. But, uh, you know, to me, legend, the, the, I remember at a very young age when I started doing the Hanukkah, my goal was to be inducted in the Tejano Music Hall of Fame. That's what I wanted as a little girl. And I knew then that unless I was in it for 25 years, I wasn't going to get inducted. Yeah. So, I mean, that was a goal for me. So, I mean, I'm living that every day. And I, it's a big honor when people say, you're a Tejano legend. You know, I mean, recently we were honored in El Paso, uh, David Mares and Ram and myself, and we were honored as Tejano legends in uh, the theater there in El Paso. And I mean, that, that's that's huge for me because, I mean, it, it shows that I've done my part to put Tejano music in the map in my own way. And um, I'm still continuing to, you know, record new Tejano music and, and broaden out what I can to help our genre. So, so. And I, I've seen you perform many a times, and you're always ready for the photograph, the autograph, your fans are number one and it shows. You're not, uh, being, in, being on stage is not a job to you. No, it's, it's more like a calling. Yeah, it is. You know, it's a, and you love it. It's, it's like being in my backyard, you know, with a bunch of friends. You know, I mean, um, I enjoy that. I mean, I, my personality on stage and off stage is the same. The only time you'll see a little bit difference in me is if I'm sick <laughs> or um, if, I'm in, if I'm actually in work mode, like right. in, in studio is when I'm a little more serious. But even at the most part, I'm cracking jokes all the time. Making my band laugh, and 
I mean, to me, life is very short, and you know, you should just enjoy it uh, while it, while it's here, and um, you do what you love, and this is what I love to do. I mean, I've had plenty of offers to go, you know, and do other genres, but you know, Tejano music is is my passion. It's who I am. It's where I'm most comfortable. I think we have the best fans in the world because Tejano music to me, I don't care what anybody says. It's the best music in the world because not only can we do, you know, cumbia, rancheras, we can do mariachi, we can do country, we can do rock, we can do jazz, we can do any kind of music as Tejano artist and do it, if not better or just as good as as the other genres. That's so, right. I mean, to me, it's the best music in the world. I don't care what anybody says. You mentioned working in the studio. Where it is you have your own studio? Um, well, actually, my guitar player, Adrian Rodriguez, is, is uh, one of my business partners for, for my record label, Shell Shock, Shell Shock Records 3. Um, and uh, we record there in, in, at his studio, in, in his place, um, which is nice because, you know, it's it's we can relax and, you know, and then we get tired, we go sit outside for a little bit and let our ears rest. And, you know, um, it's where we're at home right now. I, I think it's uh, later on we're, we'll probably get our building and, and get our own studio going. But right now, this is exactly what we need and, and, and what we want to do to work. We're starting off, it's like we're starting over. You know, so we're starting off small and, and eventually, hopefully, so those get it, we'll, we'll, we'll venture off into something bigger. And your new song, your latest song you have out, it's out for the public to buy? Yes, it's actually available. Uh, Maldito Corazon is the name of the new single that'll be out. Our CD, the full-length CD will be out, Dios Quiere, sometime maybe July, August. Um, we're shooting for July and August because that's when the Tejano Music Awards come around. Right. And then August is the Tejano Music Convention in Las Vegas, which is where we'll be. So around that time is when it will be out. But Maldito Corazon is doing extremely well. If you haven't heard it, you can go to my website at ShellyLottis.com. Um, you can listen to a snippet of it. Also, you can download it on there. And um, you can. There's a section right there where we have for our fans. It's uh, if you subscribe to to uh, our mailing list. All it is is you email in your name. Um, if you just give us your email, your name, um, you can automatically just get uh, Maldito Corazon download ringtone for free. You can, so you can have it on your phone for when I call you. And uh, you also get a free download of one of my classic songs uh, that I recorded back in the day. But you can, Maldito Corazon is only available for download on my website, which is ShellyLoggins.com. That's cool, that's cool. So. Does anybody else in your family sing or you just to get to Ooh, no, every, nobody wants to come out? No, everybody in my family sings. Everybody's musically inclined in my family. My mom, my dad, my two sisters, my brother. Um, on my dad's side, his brothers were musically inclined. On my mom's side, her sisters were musically inclined, my, uh, my and her brother. So it's my cousins. I have a lot of cousins that are that are singers that can play instruments. I was just the only one that took it on as a profession. I mean, um, my cousin Tony was touring with me for a long time, playing guitar, and uh, he was on tour with me for the glory days. But of course, he gave his life to God, and now he just he plays for, for God and God alone. And uh, you know, but no, it's it's in all sides of my family, and I, I credit I credit a lot to my brother because um, you know he was the one that had the instruments around the house. <laughs> he had the guitar, he played the piano, he played drums. But I was a baby, so I was the only sister he would let in his room right. to play his instruments. He would not let my sister Lara, my sister Patty, in the room at all. Why? I don't know. Maybe he saw something in me that. I don't know. I, don't, I never asked him why, but I mean, I would have gone in anyway because I, you know, I couldn't keep me away from music. But I mean, I remember very little where you know he would, you know, sit, sit me down at a very young age and you know teach me. I've never studied music. I, I can't read music to save my life. I can play, uh, you know, guitar is my main instrument, uh, drums, bass, piano. Um, I picked up a little bit of harmonica here and there. Um, that's about it. But I mean, you know, I just play by ear. I've never studied music, so it's all it's all by feel, by heart. That's cool. Yeah. It, it's it's real funny your family did it, so you kind of like fell into it. It, it, had it, was, in it, it was, was in the blood. It was in the blood. I mean, it's 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 in the genes. And uh, like I said, but I remember. I mean, way before ten years old. Mm -hmm. I mean, my mom can can vouch for this. I mean, I'm I'm this is. As far back as when I was like three or four years old, I remember just singing around the house and saying, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sing. This is what I'm going to do. I don't care how, but I'm going to do it. And I did. So you started at 10 years old right here outside of Market Square. Professionally, yeah. How hard was it when you were trying to get it going? Oh, in the beginning it wasn't too hard. It was a lot of fun because they would, uh, you know, the band that I was with, the Hot Tamales band, I was with them till I was 14. I recorded my first record with them at 10 and a half. 
um, and it was a song called Break It To Me Gently, um, and we did it in Spanish and English, and um, it was a 45, and then uh, we recorded like four more 45s after that, but um, we were just local, really, we played a lot of quinceañeras, a lot of weddings, um, you know, we would do Market Square outside, and um, stuff like that, but... It, I mean, I, as a young girl, I mean, it, it was, it just kind of came natural. I mean, I was, I was a little more introverted when I was younger. It didn't, I didn't kind of come out of my shell until, you know, my teenage years, my latter part of my teenage years. But um, it really wasn't that hard. I mean, because I was doing something I loved. I just remember, though, that I wanted more. When I was with this band, I wanted more than what I was, where I was at. I wanted to, I wanted to branch out of San Antonio. I wanted to, to, to do this, like, all the time. And, you know, I was in the band with a bunch of men who really taught me a lot about music. I mean, these guys were like my family, you know, and they, they taught me a lot about Tejano, and they taught me a lot about music, but uh, they were comfortable with just doing it on the weekends, and, you know, for whatever we could make, you know. But, I mean, I was like, no, I was not satisfied. I, I, I always wanted more, right. which is why I left the band and uh, went on my own and got my own band at age 15. So. That's cool. Yeah. So no matter where you go, I know you play Chicago, uh, All over the U.S. New York. Yeah. But you always come back home to San Antonio. Yeah, this is, um, I, I moved out for a little bit. I was in, up in West Texas for about five years. Right. I had another I had another business venture out there. I had a restaurant there. And, uh, but I mean, no place like home, you know. And, uh, it, it just was really hard for me to really focus on what I wanted, and the label was always something I wanted to do um, years back. But I basically had to write out my contract with, with my previous label and be patient and say, okay, well, I gotta wait, I can't do anything right now until I'm done. And then that's exactly what happened. I, you know, the contract was over, and I was able to come back to San Antonio and really focus on Shell Shock Records 3. And of course, Shell is my nickname. Yeah. And uh, Shell Shock, I just wanted it to be something that's going to really shock the industry. And 3, a lot of people ask me, why 3? Um, 3 is my lucky number. 3 was my basketball number, because <laughs> basketball is my sport. Uh, it, it's a special number to me in many ways. Um, I was born November 13th, so it has a three. Lucky 13. Um, but one of the other reasons why I named it three is because um, I've done many great things in my career. Uh, I've gone all over the world. But one of my favorite things and my highlights of what I've done is work with my two best friends, uh, Eli de Reina and Stephanie Montia, as Las Tres Divas. That was a big thing for me uh, because we're the, the main three females in the industry. Um, it was the first time ever in Tejano music history that females collaborated and toured and recorded. And not only that, we got nominated for two Grammys with our project. Um, we toured to Guam, Japan, Korea, and together. And I mean, I had the time of my life with these girls, and I don't think they really realized how much of an impact they made on me. Of course, I've been doing the Hanna music longer than they have, but they've come, they've put their the Hanna music on the map in their own way, you know, each individually. And uh, so that was another reason why I wanted to put three in there, because it's kind of a way for me to, to bring them in, if that makes any sense. You yeah. know, it's like um, I wanted them to be a part of me. Uh, we know you did a little bit of country, uh, not to get yeah. past this girl. <laughs> Will there be any more? Can we expect more country from you? Oh yeah, I'm a country girl at heart. I really am. Like I said, I mean, I grew up, you know, listening to Linda Ronstadt when she did when she was doing country. Willie Nelson. My brother listened a lot to Willie Nelson, so I liked Willie Nelson growing up. Um, country country music has always been part of my live show. You know this. I always have to throw yes. in country music, and um, you know. Uh, I always said I want to do a full-length country CD, and I think, you know, God has a plan for everything, so, you know, He feels now that my label's here, this is going to be the first opportunity that I get to produce and own my own country CD and do my own country CD, and that'll probably start production as soon as the Tejano CD is done. Uh, we'll start on that, and then right after the country, we'll do the Christian project with Javier Galvan. Um, so we're real excited about it, but country, I mean, I've done a lot of country shows, I've opened up for some great country artists from... I've worked with Vince Gill, I've opened up for Leanne Rhymes, for Clay Walker, for Tracy Lawrence, um, the Oak Ridge Boys, I mean the list goes on as far as who we've worked with and we've been very blessed to work with these country artists. But um, nothing nothing says it best than when we were in Nashville recording with Vince Gill 